Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GT 630 in 2020. This one, it looks pretty okay. You know, it has the holographic ASUS logo right there. Pretty beautiful. It's not RGB, but it's almost there. And of course, guys, the most beautiful feature of this card, it plays some music. So let's hear it. So it's not really the best music production GPU in the world, but you know, you can still play some notes there, eh, kind of. <laughs> And I don't know if you guys know this, but there are like 20 different versions of the GT630. This one is a Kepler version. I'll put the specs right here for you to see. There are versions with GDDR5 memory. There are versions with DDR3 memory. There are versions with more CUDA cores, less CUDA cores, more clock speed, also different architectures. So yeah, guys, there are probably dozens of different GT630 configurations roaming around the world, destroying some gamers lives because it's not really a very good card for gaming as we're about to see um, but yeah let's just install this in the system and see what it does in 2020 shall we all right everybody we are now in the desktop you can see the gpu showing up in msi afterburner right there geforce gt 630 and uh, right there in geforce experience geforce gt 630 these are the specs that i'm running it with of course unrealistic but we're testing the gpu so we don't want any cpu bottlenecks and it's kind of hard to be honest, to bottleneck a GPU like this one. Okay, so first game of the day is CSGO. I'm playing it at 720p resolution, 1280 by 720 with the very low settings, as you can see. Uh, let's just get into it. I really want to know what this GPU is capable of in this game, because uh, it, if you have a GPU like this, you're likely playing CSGO, and if you're using it for gaming, of course. Let's start counting our FPS. We got a massive stutter right there. In a game like CSGO, you really want to maintain 60 plus FPS all of the time, and this GPU if you just can't do it we were getting like 40s right there in long uh, okay okay yeah this is bad guys this is really bad I was expecting it to be slightly faster than the GT 710 but no it seems to be like slightly slower Oh yes, oh yes, all right. Oh boy, okay, 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 we're good. We dropped into third, like the low 30s actually guys. Oh my god, okay, how did I do that? What the heck? Oh my god, it's so clunky, guys! I can't, I can't do this! I can't control my aim properly with sub 60 FPS. Even 60 FPS doesn't really feel that good in CSGO. So I say that CSGO is definitely playable, guys. Uh, we got around 60 FPS on average, so that's okay. But if you want to play competitively, nah. So we're playing right now Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the most demanding games here on the list today. And let's go over the settings. I'm playing at 720p using the lowest settings as you can see but I'm using resolution scale set to 50% or one half which means that we're playing at 360p oh boy okay we're here we're here my friends as you can see it's kind of the same experience as the GT 710 now with the GT 710 we were actually playing at 300p instead of 360p but it's not really that much of a difference uh, it ran pretty much the same on the 710 maybe a couple of FPS higher because it was uh, running a lower resolution horse 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 where are you boy where are you boy why don't you come boy well I think the horse knows about the 730 so he just ain't coming <laughs> he ain't coming Anyways, guys, we managed 14 FPS on average in 12 1% load. It's completely unplayable, so let's just go ahead and skip to the next game, shall we? All right, my friends, it's time for Call of Duty Warzone. We're playing at 800 by 600 using the lowest settings in the game. Ah, this is the warm-up right now, but it is not looking good, my friends. If you want to play this game with the GPU like this one, just just don't play it, okay? Don't do this to yourselves. I, I'm gonna try, but it's not gonna go well. Oh my god, 9 FPS there. 
By the way, I did test the GT710 yesterday here in the channel, uh, just in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, just to see what it can do at various resolutions and stuff like that. And it, it I think it was slightly worse than this. It's kind of the same experience because it's, it's obviously completely unplayable with either GPU, but I believe this one is just slightly faster. It might get like one or two more FPS, especially right here. This is the most demanding street in downtown come on oh my god okay oh no 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 <laughs> Okay guys, for some reason I am still trying and running around and counting our FPS. I could probably and I should probably just cut it right there because um, everyone knows that this is an unplayable, completely unplayable experience. No, I almost got him. I almost got him. I, I'm gonna throw a Samtex. No, 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 he wasn't there anymore. Oh boy, oh boy. No, not for the same guy again. Well, that's it. And it's time right now for GTA 5, we're gonna go through the settings, we're playing at 720p, basically with the lowest settings in the game. I didn't go into config files and stuff like that to disable the shadows, because it's not really needed. It's playable, I would say, at these settings, so let's start counting our FPS and do our little benchmark run. Right, you know what guys, it's kind of doable. We're even hitting 40 FPS right now, so this is great. It's not the kind of experience that you'd want from this game, uh, in 2020 at least. Something like a uh, $30 GTX 660 can run this at high settings around 60 FPS at 1080p resolution. People, please get the heck out of my way. It's way easier with lower end GPUs, guys, because it, there's way less people around and I still suck at it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Why did you have to die there? Alright, here we go! Okay, everything's fine guys. So we're approaching the most intensive area of our little benchmark run, which is around this area right here because of the grass and the vegetation and stuff. But it is... Uh, it's not really dropping from 30 FPS. I guess it's because we basically disabled the grass. We didn't really disable it, but it's on the lowest settings. Hi Jack, by the way, I didn't forget about you, okay? It's, it's not dropping from 30, I don't think... Okay, never mind then. <laughs> 26, 27... Uh, overall, it's it's playable here with the 630, guys. It's it's not the best experience, but for a single-player game, if you're not really into the multiplayer in this one, it's okay. Okay, so we're playing right now Assassin's Creed Odyssey at 720p, 50% resolution scale, which is 360p, actually, and low settings across the board, as you can see. Let's do this. Another one of those very, very demanding games. And you can see that it's completely unplayable already with the GT7. 6.30. God damn it, I almost say 7.10 a lot of times, by the way. This is completely awful, as you can probably tell. You can't even see properly. It looks like somebody just splashed Vaseline into my screen right now. It looks totally horrible. The anti-aliasing is what's doing this, like, smudgy uh, look to it. I did test the GT710 separately in this game, and we played that one, I believe, at 72. P around that maybe 144p and 72p so check that out if you haven't already guys it was pretty fun and you couldn't see a thing you know like this this is 4k next to 72p so I'm gonna leave it right there guys it is totally um, not playable obviously all right everybody we are now playing some Fortnite I am gonna go to the whipping woods of course and uh, it's not looking good in terms of the FPS right now we're getting 20s holy crap this is so bad anyways i'm playing at 720p with the low settings preset which makes the 3d resolution go down to 66 percent which means that we are effectively running the game at around 480p um yeah, I, I honestly expected a little bit better coming from the GT630 here. So, oh, 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 no, 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 you goddamn it. How do you have uh, metal there? I don't get it. Okay, we got him, actually. I have no idea how this GPU is doing so poorly here. Maybe it's the DX12 API. I don't know, but I'm just playing in DX12 because it runs way smoother than DX11. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, stutters. It still stutters though okay so as this actually lowers a lot from 60 fps guys i'm gonna try to 
I can't go lower than 37 all right then well 37 percent of 720p which is I think 270p around that uh, it still doesn't get 60 fps at these settings guys um okay then well if you do have the ddr5 version or gddr5 version of this card you will be able to get decent fps and it's probably gonna be playable but you can yeah it's just i i am i'm speechless right now Oh, hello there, Bangalore. How are you doing? So we're playing Apex Legends right now at 640 by 480. I said it in the launch options. It still shows 1024 by 768, but it's much lower than that, as you can probably tell. You can't even see anything. Lowest settings. Let's go. Look at that, guys. We touch 100 FPS here. I am hopeful, but not really. Oh, no. Okay. Well, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, this is it's so bad. It's at 640 by 480 for god's sake, and it's it's running like this We got Mozambique here. All right, I'm gonna go with it. I don't care another Mozambique Should we dual Mozambiques? Yes, we should a triple Mozambique. Ah, damn it. Seriously, and there's a guy right there he Just <laughs> grenade no, 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 there's another one right here. Mozambique time. It's Mozambique time, guys. Let's go. Can we do this? I want to shoot them, but I can't really see them because of the resolution, you know? Oh, come on. Oh, my God, it's so bad. No, 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 no. no smoke, smoke's everywhere. Look at this, guys. We even reached 60 FPS inside of here. That is beautiful. Uh, 77, the 79. Oh, oh, boy. All right. Oh, yep. Get wrecked with the Mozambique. That's what I like. Hello there. What? What? Are, what is going on? What's happening here? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm gonna go away from here right now. I no. I need to revive my boy. Whoop! 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 Nope! 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 What is happening right here, guys? Wow! How am I not dead? I don't understand. No, but yes, finally, I got one. Yeah, boy, another one down. Um, I am alone, guys. No, this is not gonna happen. Yep, all right then. So, um, not the worst thing I have ever experienced. And we are playing PUBG right now. This is 720p with 50% resolution scale. I went into the config files to change it. It still shows 70% right there, but it's at 50%. So this is 360p, basically. Let's go. This is so bad still. Oh, God. And you know what? While dropping, it seems like it's gonna be a playable experience, but no. Uh, as we approach the ground... Oh my god, 8 FPS there. Oh. And you know what the worst thing is, guys? I was supposed to test the RTX 3080 today, but no store in Portugal had it uh, available. And I, I could have been playing with the 3080 and testing the 3080 today, but no, I'm here with the GT 630. <laughs> so basically, if you want to play PUBG, just go ahead and play PUBG Mobile on your phone because it's probably gonna run better than PUBG Mobile on the GT 630. <laughs> Alright, so this is Horizon Zero Dawn, probably the most demanding game of today's video. Uh, I'm gonna go through the settings, 640x480, 50% resolution scale, so this is 240p, and lowest settings across the board. Yeah, you can't really lower this from medium. Yay! This is absolutely awesome, isn't it, guys? Uh, an amazing experience once again. It's actually probably slightly better than Red Dead Redemption too but that game was also running a higher resolution so I don't know but this looks wonderful doesn't it with the 710 we actually tested it at 72p but of course it was absolutely unplayable and I think the 630 is actually doing a better job right now at the 240p resolution this isn't too bad although the graphics are something coming from like a Nintendo 2DS or something like that but yeah it's it's okay in terms of the frame rate we're hovering around 20 FPS and we still have those beautiful lens flares guys those still look amazing even at 240p resolution holy it's it's horrible guys okay it's slightly better than the 710 I believe as I told you but it's it's not good still <laughs> definitely not good 
Over here everything is turned off of course and we're playing at the lowest settings 25% resolution scale which is 180p not 1080p it's 180p okay 180p 1080p maybe 180p is actually bigger than 10 <clears throat> it's not <laughs> uh we're playing oh oh look at our frames I, I, I don't remember how many frames did 710 got, but this is great! <laughs> Holy crap, I wasn't expecting this! Oh my god, guys, the FOV is so bad! 50 FOV, man! Are, are the consoles like this? I don't even know. But yeah, guys, I should probably make a video playing at 50 FOV, like with proper graphics, of course, but just playing at these incredibly low FOVs and maybe going to the config files and lower that even further? That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, that's a great idea for the second channel, actually. Link is down below in the description. Check that out. So this is what happens if you you go to war and you forget your glasses I guess <laughs> maybe this is the way it's meant to be played my friends who knows well I got one with this FOV and this resolution I think what bothers me the most is the FOV <laughs> I don't know why man it's time for Valorant if this game doesn't run properly at 1080p low settings I I don't know what to think of the 630 guys so 1080p low settings are the settings of choice okay let's start counting our FPS Yes, so far so good. Valorant runs on every single potato, as you can probably tell. We're getting really nice frames. Yes, this is exactly what this GPU was made. No, it's not. This GPU wasn't made for gaming at all. There's another camper. Perfect. So I guess if you have a GT 630, guys, you can definitely play Valorant. It runs smoothly, even at 1080p. So if you lower the resolution, even better, of course. Uh, hi, buddy. You're dead. There's a guy camping there. It's probably yep, it's still the same guy as earlier. Okay, alright. There we go. There we go. I guess if you really want to play this game, yeah, this is this is doable, guys. This is absolutely playable. But in competitive matches with more effects and like smokes and stuff like that, it's probably gonna drop a little bit. Alright, I got him. So maybe just play it at 720p if you're playing competitively, guys, so you're sure that the game doesn't drop from 60, you know? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> As I said, Valorant runs in every potato, you just need to get a, a decent CPU, you know, to not bottleneck a GPU like this one. Like, maybe second gen i5 should be absolutely fine to get 100 FPS on average. And guys, it's time for the last game of the day. I'm gonna ask the question, but can it run Crysis? Let's find out. We're playing at 800 by 600 with the low settings, of course, and it's not really looking that good, as you can see. Well, the graphics actually do look way better than they did in the original one, of course. Even at 800 by 600, like, the textures are a little bit... well, they're better. They're not, like, hugely better, but they're better. Anyways, uh, this is, of course, very, very unplayable, um, depending on how you look at it. I guess when the original crisis came out it was running like this even with the best hardware around so you know what it's not that bad it's not that bad guys definitely all right oh 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 oh, oh there's a guy all right there we go there we go he's dead um yeah we're getting a very very smooth 15 to 20 fps on average over here which is amazing i can't control my mouse it's, it's absolutely horrible um, uh, yep, guys, so can it run Crysis? Not really. I, I don't think it can, at least not at these settings. It seems like it is way too much for this little GPU. Oh god, oh god, this, oh my god, it's so bad, it's so bad, guys, it's so bad. Ah, what a wonderful Crysis experience. This is what Crysis is all about, isn't it? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it right there. This is enough for Crysis with the 630. And my friends, it's finally time for the conclusion of this video. Do I recommend the GeForce GT 630 in 2020? 
and the results speak for themselves guys this is an absolutely horrible gpu to play games with in 2020 of course you can still play valorant league of legends those kinds of games will run absolutely fine on this gpu the reality of it is this gpu was never meant for gaming guys it is just like a display adapter just like the gt710 so if you're in the used market for a cheap gpu and you've come across a gt630 at like 10 bucks well don't buy it it's not really worth it spend like 20 or 30 bucks get a gtx 660 that's actually pretty decent or an hd 7870 those will run these games absolutely fine except for like warzone and red dead redemption 2 so guys that's been it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already i will hopefully see you in the next one and as always i love you all bye, -bye.